All right, this is a, a little uh, demo here of, uh, of the fencing. I can kind of show you some of the parts and that sort of thing. Uh, this is a little, uh, little demonstration panel that we had made up that shows a terminal post. There's a 2 and 3 eighths terminal post. There's a 1 and 7 eighths line post. Another uh, end post. 1 and 5 eighths top rail on it. And, uh, so that's, and then our chain link, this is a pretty heavy chain link fabric, a 9 gauge, which is more for commercial, industrial applications uh, on it. But, uh, so this is uh, some of the parts we have on it here. Uh, we have this band here is referred to as a brace band. It holds the rail end, which is holding the bracing, the, the top rail on it. Um, most all the chain link parts are named uh, by pretty much descriptive names as to what they what they actually do. So the, the brace band holds a bracing and then a rail end, this is a top rail for just a rail and so it's a rail end and then those are bolted together with the uh, the brace band around the post for uh, for supporting your your top rail. The, the, the chain link fabric you stretch it, it has tension on it and there's bands here that are referred to as tension bands, which uh, they maintain the tension of the fence. They go around this bar that slips down the end of the chain link, referred to as a tension bar. Um, and then you, once you stretch it over, you put bolts in behind the, uh, uh, through your bands uh, behind the bar, and that maintains the, the tension on the fence. Uh, along the bottom of the fence, typically there's a tension wire and um, it gets stretched from uh, post to post, usually using a, a brace band on the end. It gets wrapped around the bolt on the brace band, and that helps maintain the bottom of the fence so that it doesn't get uh, stretched out easy. Uh, chain link is a little bit elastic and uh, you know, a little bit springy, and so uh, you don't you usually want the bottom of your fence springing around too much, so the, uh, the tension wire then attached with uh, these little rings called hog rings will help maintain the bottom of the fence so that it doesn't uh, spring around and a uh, dog can't push under the fence and that sort of thing as, as easy as it uh, potentially could without anything on it. Uh, typically from there there's tie wires that, uh, that tie the chain link fabric uh, to the post. This is here, then usually it's the same type of tie wire you're putting uh, along uh, the top rail uh, to, uh, to maintain uh, the, the tension uh, the, of the chain link fence uh, to the top rail so there's not uh, spraying away on it. Um, typically on your end post you have uh, what's referred to as a ball cap, again kind of named descriptively, uh, usually kind of rounded shaped, the ball cap. On your line post uh, we have what's called an, an eye top. Uh, it has an, an eye in it that the rail is running through and of course it's a, a top of the post. And um, so that's pretty much the uh, the parts of uh, of the chain link fence.